free. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. Still working on this yellow bug. Endless. It needs so much stuff, but not anymore. I think we got all the stuff. Uh, we just put that transmission in there, or put the transmission together. We got the Kafer bar set up. We got the mid-mount thing ready to go in there. Got all new brakes in the back. Uh, we even did a little bit of cleaning up and some painting back there, kind of get everything looking a little bit better. Uh, even though it's probably not ever going to get seen. I'm ready to put that transmission in, but I got one more thing I need to do before I do that. Uh, to make it easy to get to those carbs and put the spark plugs in and all that other good stuff, uh, we're going to put in some of these Weber windows. Uh, this particular set came from Limebug. Uh, that's the bigger ones. These are, these are pretty... take up a whole lot of real estate back there, as you'll see in a second. Uh, but what these basically do is oh that's not gonna stay stay you get back there and you cut out a big old chunk of metal and then you weld in this is the driver's side you weld in this little window and this way you can reach in get the spark plugs you can bolt the carburetor down you can adjust the carb do all that great stuff and then when you're done you put this stainless cover back on there and that'll keep all the dirt and the water and all the crap out uh, so it's not getting sucked up into your carbs. Pretty great. Uh, definitely something we're going to need because that motor is going to take up every inch of room in that engine bay. So I've already done one and what you can see here, you know, we cut the hole, we welded in the, the brace on the inside and then we bolted the panel from the back and then I did some seam sealer and some undercoating and a little bit of paint uh, just to keep it kind of nice I mean it's it's just spray paint it's not anything kind of color matched or super fancy but it looks good better than the whatever the overspray and, and black stuff whatever the last guy put in there just just looks terrible so this will be a lot cleaner it'll be a lot nicer we'll have a lot better access so let's get in there and put in a Weber window all right first thing I got to do I got to put that frame in there we got to secure it uh, so we're going to use some of these self-tapping screws and our trusty impact, which just happens to match the car. And uh, we're going to use the existing holes here. Just going to shoot a couple in there for now. That one didn't grab. Some of this metal is a little soft. We're going to fix that later though. Okay. This is going to give us an idea of where to cut. You know, what the part we got to cut out is. And then also where the holes have to go. Because you got to blow those holes out before you weld this on. And you want them to be bigger. So that you can find them, you know, with the screws later. So, using these little tech screws is going to kind of mark the center of those holes for us. a nice tight fit it's, it's angled to go with the body right here kind of sits right along the bottom uh, you can see I did have to make some hammer adjustments to get it to contour properly to the body you want it to be kind of a nice tight fit and that's where the drilling these holes out bigger on the body um, is gonna come in handy because that this is now deformed from the cover and it's gonna be a little bit hard to get that thing seated otherwise so uh, so we'll take our little sharpie oh well I guess we would mark it on the outside so this is just to mark the holes and then we're gonna flip this over to the fender side screw it in again using all the same holes then we mark it then we cut it from the outside trim it from the inside and then bring it back in here and then uh, tack it up and then screw the face on, yeah. There we go. So we're all marked. Uh, we'll get this thing unscrewed and move to the other side and we'll move on to the next step.
So we can see, if we line up the bolt holes, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty nice, I might have a little more trimming to do, but that's gonna be a pretty nice hole. You definitely wanna get rid of all these sharp edges so that you don't slice your hands open while you're trying to work. Uh, so we're gonna probably take that down a little bit, but you know, now we can blow out the holes here for the uh, screws that we put in with a unibit like this. And that way we can make these holes nice and big so that the tapped holes in that frame are easy to access. There we go. So now you can see why I said to blow out those holes because you put the bolts in from the back and that's what holds this up so you know where to weld. Uh, if you make the holes too small, you have a hard time finding and getting it aligned correctly. Now we got it in there good and it's all sucked up tight. Uh, one thing I don't like is that they give you these dumb flathead cheese head screws like the tin screws. So I'm gonna switch these all out for my uh, stainless cap screws. I think they just, they'll look a lot better in there and flatheads just suck. Uh, so, now that we got her all in there, we just kind of mark where we need to grind and get the paint off so we can uh, weld those panels on. occurred to me while I was trying to align this thing and get it set up that this is much better on the outside because it's way easier to get the stupid screws in there. Uh, I did the other one on the inside because I watched a couple videos. You know I'm like you I gotta see it before I do it and I watched a couple videos and they talked about putting it on the inside it gives you a lot cleaner fit on the outside whatever I don't know it seems like it was all BS because this is the way to go man. Put them on the outside, weld it here, and then when you put the plate on, you only have to line up the hole in the plate to this hole. It's going to look like dog duty on the inside, uh, but I think I'll still cover it in seam sealer and, you know, undercoating and, and try to, like, clean it up. But that's the way to go. So we got this thing all clamped in place. I got to do a little bit of a tapping adjustment just to get these holes to line up again because the screw is going to go through the body a little bit. But that hole's big, you know, I just, I got a couple where it's not going to clear, so I'm going to adjust those, I'm going to weld this bad boy on there, we'll paint it back on, and then uh, move to the inside and clean that up, so here we go, enjoy. better. Ignore my garbage welds. You won't see them when I put the seam sealer on there. <laughs> but that's so much easier to put that thing together. So do it on the outside. Look at that. I don't have to fight it like I was trying to fight it before. It's gonna look horrible on the inside but at least I'd be able to get them all on. Yeah, that's good. So, okay, I'm gonna go in the... Uh, what 
I make sure that this thing fits like it does. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint paint this all back up so it doesn't rust and so it looks nice. I'm gonna leave these as stainless just because they look cooler that way. And uh, we'll paint the rest of this yellow. Maybe throw a little undercoating in there. A little seam sealer. But that's a Weber window. car and I'm super excited about that because I got to put that motor in and I'm gonna probably be the one that has to work on this car that's gonna just save so much time and struggle uh, you know being able to reach those carbs to tune them and adjust them and being able to just put them in once you put the motor in then you put the carbs on now I can reach them spark plugs you know changing out the spark plugs and all that getting to that last fourth bolt on top of the transmission to bolt the motor in all that possible with Weber windows Hit that link down below, uh, you'll be glad you did. Don't do what I did on the first one. I put it on the inside. That's the bad way, don't do that. It'll work, but it's it's a struggle, it sucks. Doing the other one, putting it on the outside, so much better. I might even cut this other one off and, and just swap it to the outside, and just whatever, you know? Clean it up and, and redo it the right way because it's so much easier to just put that cover on. I, I feel like that's how they're supposed to be. and, and I won't name names, but I watched a couple videos and they did them inside, outside. Don't do that. Do them on the outside, way better. Then um, they weren't that much money, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this week. We still got a lot to do on this car. I gotta put that transmission in. I gotta put that motor in still. We got rear brakes to install. Uh, we got front brakes, whole disc brake setup in the front, new master cylinder we gotta put in there. And I know it's gonna need wiring. The tail light harnesses, they're just, they're toast. And if the rest of the harness looks like that, that's gonna whole, be a whole harness. And, and I don't wanna do that. I might just send that off to Mitch. Mitch likes wiring, right Mitch? Not me, I hate wiring. So fingers crossed, once I swap out that ignition for one that actually has a key, that we can get the car to at least start, if the car can start and take off and drive out of here and stop under its own power, I'm gonna be okay. Uh, I really don't want to do wiring, but we'll see. Uh, I got another car coming, so I gotta hurry up and get this thing done. So it's gonna be like a hard push in the next couple days, get that stuff installed and get that thing the hell out of my garage. Uh, so that's it. Check out all the links, visit all the friends, buy you a t-shirt, whatever, hit the Amazon store. All those links are right down there in the bottom. First thing you see after my fun little description is all the links. Uh, you know, get all that good stuff. Hit that subscribe button, get me in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching. See you next week.